Ever stood next to a building and just marveled at its size? Now, imagine building that, but thousands of years ago, with stones weighing anywhere from 2 to a whopping 80 tons. That's what the ancient Egyptians did. It's a puzzle that has fascinated historians and engineers for centuries. How on earth did they move these colossal blocks of rock? Let's break it down. The majority of the stones were limestone, conveniently quarried right near the construction sites. This made things a little easier, but easy is a relative term when you're dealing with multi-ton blocks. But what about the really special stones? The granite used for the inner chambers and sarcophagi was a different story. This incredibly hard rock had to be brought all the way from Aswan, which is over 800 kilometers away. That's like dragging a school bus from New York City to Cleveland. So how did they pull off this incredible long-distance haul? They used the superhighway of ancient Egypt, the Nile River. During the annual flood season, the water levels would rise, allowing them to float massive barges loaded with granite much closer to the pyramid sites. They would construct special canals and harbors to get these stones as near as possible to their final destination. It was a brilliant use of natural cycles to achieve a monumental task. Once the stones were near the site, either from the local quarry or the riverbank, the real heavy lifting began. The Egyptians were masters of simple but effective technology. The most common theory involves massive wooden sleds. They would place a stone on a sled, and then a huge team of workers would pull it using thick ropes. To make it easier, they didn't just drag it through the sand. Evidence suggests they built wooden tracks, almost like a temporary railway. They would also pour water on the sand in front of the sled. This simple trick reduced the friction dramatically, making the stones much easier to pull. It's a perfect example of ancient ingenuity. But what about getting these stones up onto the barges or into position on the pyramid itself? They didn't have modern cranes, but they had something just as effective. The lever. By using long, sturdy wooden levers and counterweights, they could lift and pivot these immense blocks with surprising precision. It was a slow, painstaking process that required immense coordination and manpower, but it worked. The construction of the pyramids wasn't about some lost ancient super technology. It was about human grit, incredible organization, and a deep understanding of basic physics. So the next time you see a picture of the pyramids, don't just see a pile of rocks. See the incredible journey each one of those stones took. From a quarry hundreds of kilometers away, down the Nile, across the sand on sleds, and levered into place by thousands of dedicated people.